In this video, I am going to show you how to use Kami to turn in an assignment when it is assigned as a PDF, and I will explain what all of that means. First, I want to make sure that you see the Kami extension. It is up here in the upper right hand side. It looks like a white K in a blue circle. If you do not have that, please let us know as soon as possible. You will click on your assignment and you will see here that it says PDF. So that is a file type, makes it so that you cannot edit it. You can't add your own information to it. So what Kami does is it lets you add your own information to it. So you will click your assignment and right here, so you can see your document, normally this type of document will not let you edit it or add your own information. If you click open with Kami, it will. So the very first time that you go in, you will have to give Kami permission. You will have to tell it it's okay to access your account. You tell it to allow your Google Drive. So you click on that and then you will click on your account right here. It should be the only thing that pops up right there. And you will scroll down here and you will click allow. You will also select, if it asks you to do this again, just click allow, click your account and click allow again. I noticed it did that earlier, so I am guessing it's doing that for everybody. You will then click K-12 school. You are a student, so select student. So you want to make sure it says K-12 school and student, and then you will click finish. I do recommend that you watch this video. It will teach you a lot more than I can. I will just be going through the basics um, for your assignment and then you will click continue. Now this, unless we tell you otherwise, you can hit no thanks. Now <clears throat> what I notice as well is over here, it will auto select where you were last and the very first time you go in, I think it usually just selects the arrow. You can click any of these things to enter information on a blank line you will want to select text box click where you want to type and then start typing and now i'm going to put a space and i'm going to change my text size or my font size to 14 just so you can see that it's slightly bigger than 12. where text size might matter more is when you enter into a box such as this in order to move out of the box I just typed in, you wanna select your cursor somewhere else, click on your touchpad, and then to enter in another text box, you will select where you wanna enter that. So since I am entering into this box and it's smaller, I am going to click 10. So I will be able to fit more information in. When you get toward the end of the box, you would want to hit your return key or your enter key. On the Chromebook, I believe it says enter, and that will put you on the next line. If your information is not too much in this text box, then you won't need to worry about that. And just so you know, I am not putting in any actual answers, as you can tell, that you would actually do for this worksheet. I am just showing you how to use some of the tools that you will need. So you can see that it's on two different lines there. Okay, so another thing, this one says circle the amount that is not shaded. I'm not going to worry about what the actual answer is. I am going to show you how to circle an answer. You go over here to drawing, which looks like a paintbrush and you can choose what color you want to use. I'm going to select red. So I'm going to pretend that that's the answer. I really don't know if it is. Now for the next question, draw a picture 
So if you need to draw pictures in this box, you can use, but you don't have to draw. If you would prefer, if you would rather do it this way, you can select text box and add in text. I'm going to change it to 14 point. I'm also going to change the color. So I would put in an X and use that as your answer. So if the answer were three, then I would type in three X's. Now, if I want to turn in my assignment, let's say I am all done. I go up here and I click turn in and then I click turn in. It will first save a copy to my Google Drive and then it will ask me again if I want to turn it in. So again, I click turn in. Make sure you do that all three times. It can take a little time to turn in and that's okay. And as soon as it's done, then I am done with this video. If you have any questions or need any help, please let us know. Thank you.